we all have that natural skill ceiling. Some, some it's diamond, some it's platinum, some it's silver, some it's gold. So don't worry about that. What we need to worry about is how to improve that skill ceiling. Hey guys, before we get into today's profile review, if you're interested in getting your own profile reviewed, just like the one you're about to watch or interested in the things I talk about in terms of coaching, personalized coaching solutions, please check out the links in the description below. Let's get into the video. Now, currently I can see that you're plat for 30 LP and you've played around 600 ranked games with a 51% win rate, and it's taken you around 600 games to get back to your plat four rank, which you achieved last season. So firstly, you probably haven't had the best split this season. Um, you might feel like your skills are stagnating a bit, you're not being able to influence the game as much, or maybe your skill level, you've just kind of reached your natural skill ceiling. And this is something that we see happen a lot of the time. And generally, the next step for players like this is one, uh, either get a higher ELO friend to review your gameplay with you and start opening you up to new ideas and what your bad habits are and how to fix this and how to fix that. Because you're struggling on your own to understand these concepts or figure them out on your own, whether if you do review your own gameplay or simply through your 600 games, you still haven't really figured out, oh, this is what I need to work on or that's what I need to work on. And I know you've listed some things that you say are the biggest issues holding you back, but I don't really think they're the root cause. Uh, the alternative is as well is if you don't have any high ranked friends who are 80 carry mains and they can't give you really meaningful advice, well, that's when you should seek out one-on-one -on -one coaching. So if you're interested in that, please, um, once you've watched this, let me know and we can work out building out a custom coaching solution for you. Your goals are getting to done for, et cetera, et cetera. But let's get back to your profile. So the biggest issue you've said that's holding you back from your goal rank are two things. One, it's that you die a lot. So you're averaging about 6.5 deaths I can see in your last uh, 40 games, which is quite high or a little bit high for an 80 carry, but it's not alarmingly high. And the second one is you have bad CS. So I'm just going to jump over to your mobilitics. And to be honest, your CS is perfectly fine. Like people, like you're probably thinking, well, why not nine CS per minute or 10 CS per minute? In plat, games are still really chaotic. There's a lot of uncertainty. There's a lot of shitty situations where you simply just can't be getting perfect CS. And so do I think that you need to focus on CS as a priority in order for you to get to Diamond 4? No. Could you, without improving your CS at all, still climb to Diamond 4 if you maintained an average of like 7.1 to 7.5 CS per minute? Yes. So your CSing is fine. Um, that's not the issue. But coming back to your deaths, I think that is something we can talk about. So generally, I recommend players to be averaging around 5.5 deaths a game as AD carries in Platinum rank. And if you're really dying more than that, it's not too much of an issue because you are only averaging, you know, 6.1 deaths I can see over your 580 carry games this season. But it is something you flagged as a point of concern and it is technically a big deal because whenever we die in League of Legends, we lose all our impact and influence over the game and we never really want to do that, particularly in the 80 carry role because we are the carry in most uh, in most cases, particularly in the mid to late game. So deaths are a really big thing that you need to improve. Something I can't really tell you how to solve in a profile review. Again, you need the one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's with a higher ELO friend or a coach, you really need that kind of solution to figure out if you're dying too much, why you're dying too much, when are you dying too much, and how to stop yourself dying so much. And there'll be really easy answers to that. I mean, you might even be able to identify it yourself if you look through your reviews. It could be you just simply died of ganks because you don't know how to ward or you don't have very good jungle tracking. It could be uh, you're always dying in mid game because you simply don't know when to engage as an AD carry. It could be you're always dying at dragons because um, you're too impatient, you don't wait for your team and you're the one trying to engage as the AD carry. Or maybe you always get picked out because you're on autopilot. There's a lot of different reasons why you could be having a higher death rate. And again, I can't and I don't want to analyze that or give you solutions until I see your gameplay. Now, looking at your other stuff and areas you can improve, I think one of the biggest areas that you need to look at in terms of improvement is your laning phase. So right now I can see over your last 570 games, you're averaging a gold difference at 15 of negative 200 gold or almost 200 gold. And, you know, it's about 300 gold is a kill. And so if you're averaging this much, it means there's something going wrong in your laning phase. You're either um, 
not recalling properly, you're not last hitting correctly, you're dying too much, or you're letting the enemy opponents bully you out of lane too much. They're generally the four main reasons. And, and again, I can't solve that on a profile view, but I can say that's a weakness that you need to work on. And again, it's something you can that can be done through coaching or through a high ELO friend. Or if you think you're a pretty good analysis, give it a go, go through your own re replays and see if you can figure it out without having to get a coach or a high ELO friend, because that could be a really good affordable solution for you. Now, that's one of the biggest things I think is holding you back, because when we're 80 and 80 carry and we're not able to generate leads consistently in laning phase, that suggests we have some issues. It suggests we have some issues with understanding how to play with the support regardless of their skill level. So if they're good, if they're bad, if they're okay, but it also suggests that you struggle against um, 80 carries themselves because you're not able to win against the average platform 80 carry. And again, this comes back to the point of, well, maybe you are really close to your natural skill ceiling and that's why you're looking for help. You're looking for solutions outside of what you're currently doing. And so I think you're really on the right path here. Now, in terms of what else I can see, um, I would suggest in terms of your champion pool, I think your Zai is always going to be your key to climbing. Like I know you're playing majority of Zai games and you know maybe you've had a little bit of a rough streak in your last 40, averaging only a 50% win rate. Again, suggesting you're getting really to your natural skill rank where you're struggling to win more games than you're losing um, on your best champion, which is fine. We all have that natural skill ceiling. Some, some it's diamond, some it's platinum, some it's silver, some it's gold. So don't worry about that. What we need to worry about is how to improve that skill ceiling. Um, sorry. And so then, um, yeah, I think Zaya's fine. One tricking's fine. Don't worry about like, oh, can I one trick um, to diamond? Yes, you can. Zaya's a really strong champion. Um, there's nothing wrong with her. You can climb her to diamond doing what you're doing. You just need to get better at her is the question. And and you could be like, well, should I just uh, play Jinx or should I just play Samira or, you know, this other champion that's the meta? And I would say, look, you could, but uh, at the end of the day, the two most important things I think a player needs to think about when they're choosing their champion pool and they're deciding how to climb is question one, do you enjoy the champion you're playing? And question two, are you good at them? And honestly, I think Zaya is probably your best current champion that you have mastery in. And so I would encourage you to keep playing Zyra. And it's clear that you probably have a bit of fun on her given she's by far one of your most played champions this season. So all good with that. Other than that though, there, there's not much I can really talk about with your profile view. Everything looks pretty healthy on a statistical level besides your laning phase and besides your slightly high death count. And really what you need as a next step is to start reviewing your gameplay. Again, three ways to review your gameplay on your own with a friend or with a coach. But that is what you as a Platinum 480 carry player really needs to do in order to take that next step to seriously consider yourself getting to diamond. You know, going from the top 12% of players, which is plat four, to the top two to 3% of players, which is diamond. You gotta start doing what the 97% of other League of Legends players aren't willing to do. And some people don't wanna put in the effort, but it sounds like you probably do. And so what I'd suggest is you need to start taking rank seriously. You need to start looking at these solutions that I'm suggesting, and you really need to ask yourself the question, Am I willing to do what it takes to become the top, you know, to get into the top 3% of League of Legends? Because that's really hard. That's basically saying that every, out of every 100 players that play League of Legends, only three of them are going to make it to Diamond in their lifetime. That is massive. That is hard. It is hard work. And a lot of people underplay how hard it is to get to Diamond. But you're maybe even frustrated that you're like, why can't I get to Diamond? Because it's hard. It takes a lot of work and no one gets there easily. The people that do are insanely gifted and they usually go on to become like pro players, pro streamers, et cetera, et cetera. But for the majority of us, you know, 99.9% .9 of the population, we only hear about those success stories. So it makes us think it's popular or very common, but it's not. Um, for the rest of us, we have to go through these fundamental concepts. We have to slowly build ourselves up to go from plat four to plat three to plat two to plat one, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're interested in talking more about a personalized coaching solution to basically get you from plat four to diamond four, please, once you've watched this, reach out to me 
and we can go from there about talking about what can work for you, your budget, your goals, and how you want to get to Diamond. So anyway, cheers, good luck on the Rift. I hope you found this profile review helpful, and I look forward to talking to you once you've watched it.